equations involving fractions. All right, we've got a bag and there are six apples. Okay, so somewhere in the bag and the other four on the table. That's this picture right here. Unknown amount in the bag and then one, two, three, four just sitting on the table. Okay, and we've said that, well, there are six apples total. So we want to find out, well, how many apples then are in the bag? So we'll use this picture here and make an expression. So the bag is our unknown variable. We'll say it's x. And there are four apples here, so we'll say four. Of course, equal sign is equal sign, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There should be a total of six apples when we figure out how many are in the bag plus however many are on the table. Okay, so we can figure this out two ways. One is if we remove the apples from each side, then the equations will remain equal, and therefore we will see pictorially how many apples are left. So we remove these four, which cancel these four, and therefore we have one bag on this side and two apples on this side. So no, the answer is two. There must be two apples in the bag, which makes sense because two in the bag plus the four on the table means there are a total of six apples. We can also look at the equation, okay, x plus four equals six, and we can try to solve this. So if we, what we did here was subtract four, right? We removed these four apples. So we took away four from this side. And we also did the same thing to this side. We took away four apples. So x plus four, and then we took away four apples. So four minus four is zero. And so all we're left with is x on the left side. And now on the right side, we have six and we're taking away four. So six minus four is two. So this gives us the same answer, which is there are two apples in the bag, which we used the variable x to represent. So, we do the same operation to each side, leaving only one variable, and then we can find out what's the value for this variable. All right, so here we subtracted four from this side, so we subtracted four also from this side. Let's look at a different example. Let's say uh, we have pizza, it's cut into six pieces, Okay, some of it is put into the fridge. Here's a wonderful fridge. And then four of those pieces of pizza were left on the table. Okay, so we originally had one whole pizza. Here it is with one, two, three, four, five, six slices. Okay, some of the pizza is then put in the fridge and then four slices are left on the table. So we want to figure out uh, how many slices were put in the fridge and we're going to do this. This is going to be a fraction. So we can represent um, this equation or this equation represents x for the fridge. Okay, this is our unknown. We don't know. There's some amount, some fraction of pizza in the fridge. Now, this is four slices of pizza, right? There's six slices of pizza in the hole. So this fraction right here is four over six. Okay, so four sixths of the pizzas on the table, and then some amount, some fraction of the pizzas in the fridge. This will equal one whole pizza, which if we count all the slices will be six sixths. Okay, so x, the unknown amount of pizza in the fridge, plus four sixths equals six sixths. So now we want to find out what fraction, and we'll do the same thing that we did with the bags and apples. So if we eliminate these slices from this side, and at the same time take one away from this side, then the equation will remain true as long as we take away one for here, for every one here, and we can see how much pizza is left or how many slices are left. So we get rid of this slice and this slice, this one and this one, this one and this one, this one and this one. So we removed four from this side and we removed four from this side. So we're left with two slices, and that's two out of the whole six, so we're left with two sixths. So two sixths of the pizza must be in the fridge, so that when we have the two sixths plus the four sixths, we get one whole pizza. Now let's look at our equation here, x plus four sixths equals six sixths. So on the left side of the equation, we're trying to find out what x is, so we want only x. We want just x, so really we need to get rid of this four sixths, we don't want this here. So how can we remove four sixths? Well, we'll subtract four sixths. Now, this is an equation, it's balanced. This equal sign means whatever's over here is also over here, they're equal to the same amount. So if we do an operation here, like remove four sixths 
on this side, we must do the same on this side. So let's look at what we have. X plus 4 sixths minus 4 sixths. Well, these obviously cancel and we're just left with X on the left side. Now, we have 6 sixths and we're going to subtract 4 sixths. Okay, they both have the same denominator. So we'll look at the numerator and 6 minus 4 is 2. So we're left with 2 sixths. Okay, so when we do it algebraically here, we get the same answer. So there are 2 sixths of a pizza that is put into the fridge for this question.